This video is a step-by-step -step guide that can help you set up commands in Scorebot quickly and easily. Scorebot is a free software for streamers used as a single stream bot for either Beam or Twitch, or for casters who multi-stream to Beam and Twitch at the same time. If you missed the first four tutorials in this series, please check out how to set up Scorebot in 15 minutes or less, and the Scorebot tutorials on currency, games, and sound effects and graphics. Now let's get started setting up commands in Scorebot. Scorebot allows you to add commands that you and your viewers can trigger. To begin, open Scorebot and click on the Commands tab. First, let's identify all of the functions on this page so you know what they mean. Let's start with the Enabled box. Make sure this is checked as this is the global setting to turn commands on and off. The command window is where you can create a message that will trigger a response. If you don't want commands to be spammed, set the CD, which stands for cooldown. A cooldown is a wait time until the command can be used again. The user CD is the cooldown per user. If it's set at zero, multiple users can trigger the same command at the same time. Who has permission to trigger the commands? You can set that here in the permission drop-down window. Options include regulars, viewers with a minimum amount of hours, and the caster, but I'm going to leave it to everyone. The chat can either be set to local or both. Local means you'll be broadcasting from one site, either Beam or Twitch. Both means you'll be broadcasting to both sites, where you'll need to relay the chat messages from one platform to the other. Since I'm on Beam, I'll set it to local. In the type window, you can set the command to appear in the public chat as a whisper or both. Make sure the command is active box is checked to enable the command. Directly below that is the check all text for command CA. If you check this box, Scorebot will search all text in the chat and if the command word is typed anywhere in a sentence, the bot will trigger a response. The variable drop-down window will show you all the variables you can insert into a command, but I'll come back to variables in a moment. In the last video, I covered how to upload sound effects, and in the sound effects window is where you can select the sounds to trigger when a command is used. Prefab lists the pre-made commands you can use, such as shoutout, raider, and uptime, and the prefab window was covered in the first video, how to set up Scorebot in 15 minutes or less, so let's move on. If you want your viewer to be whispered when a specific command is typed into chat, click whisper and w slash dollar sign user will be added to the beginning of your command. The response window shows the full response the bot will display when someone enters a command. Add save will add and save the command you've been editing. And if you need to edit the command, simply highlight the message, click edit, and the command will load so you can make your changes. Pressing clear resets all of the fields in one command so you can start from scratch. And delete will remove the highlighted command from the list on the bottom. There are two ways to input commands into the bot. One is directly through Scorebot, and two is through your chat window. Now because there is a long list of commands, I will write them out and include them in the description of this video. But let's go through a few examples so you know how they're applied. First, I'll show you how to input a command through Scorebot. As earlier mentioned, there are several different variables you can insert into the response window. Dollar sign URL is one example, and this is how you can create a command for a website. First, create a command. I'll use exclamation point beam. I'll set the permission to moderator. Then I'll select dollar sign URL in the variable window and type the URL into the Whisper window. Click Add Save, and that's it. This command is now added to the bot. Type exclamation point beam in the chat, and the address of your site will be displayed. Another example is date time. Again, create a command. I'll use exclamation point date time, and I'll change the permission to everyone. Select the variable dollar sign date time, then click the Add button to the right of the variable window. Then click Add Save. And now, when you type exclamation point date time, the month, day, 
year, and local time will display in your chat. There are also several preset commands you can input directly through your chat window. For example, if you type exclamation point Steam in the name of a video game sold on the PC gaming website, the bot will display the title of the game, the price, and a link directly to the game on the Steam site. This is just one example, but you can find a full list of built-in commands in the description of this video. In a nutshell, this is how you set up commands in Scorebot. The next video will cover StreamJar, another popular software for streamers. But if there are any other tutorials for streaming software you'd like to see, please leave your suggestions in the comments section below. Until then, this is WASD, and I'll see you in the next video.